Uh, as Dr. Gary was alluding to, I'm going to be focusing a lot of the discussion on this, this field of regenerative injection therapy, uh, and I'm going to kind of roll through a little bit about, uh, for those of you who are you know, not as familiar with our, um, with our clinic, and I see many familiar faces uh, in the audience here, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a sense of what it is that we do here, and then talk about the process of what happens with joint injury, tendon injury, ligamentous injury, and then how it is that these regenerative therapies can help folks who have uh, problems uh, and pain coming from those areas. All right, so hopefully my little wireless mouse here is going to actually work. Okay, here we go. All right. So uh, a little bit about you know, the Kaplan Center and what we do here. So this is, in fact, the longest uh, established in integrative pain medicine clinic uh, in the Northern Virginia, D.C. metro area. And uh, we do specialize in the treatment of pain and chronic illness and looking at how chronic illness influences uh, those of us who have pain conditions. The thing that I love about working here, not only am I, you know, back home, I mean, it's kind of funny because my parents live in the same house that I grew up in down in Fairfax, and so coming back uh, about a year and a half ago is really quite the homecoming for me. But one of the things I really love about working here is that it really is an integrative practice in, in many respects. And in one respect, we have an interdisciplinary approach where many of the practitioners and clinicians, uh, we all kind of corroborate with one another. We have uh, every two weeks, we have a meeting where we actually get together and discuss the more challenging cases. And we all put our heads together and say, okay, how is it that we can get these folks better? And so we have uh, the team approach with the medical staff, nursing, physical therapy, massage therapy, chiropractic, nutrition, psychology, uh, to really see what is the best way in terms of uh, how we can take care of these folks. Uh, the other thing in terms of the integrative approach, at least from the medical clinical side, is that we combine the best of what we can with uh, you know, Western approach, approaches, Eastern approaches, osteopathic approaches, and so on. And so we have a lot of different tools at our fingertips. Uh, and some of the things that we do uh, include some laboratory diagnostics that are uh, looking more at, you know, when people hear this catchword functional medicine, what the heck does that mean, right? It's sort of this little fad phrase sometimes that you might hear. You've got integrative medicine, functional medicine, uh, uh, alternative and complementary medicine. What the heck do all these things mean? The thing I like about functional medicine is that conventional medical approaches, as many of us are familiar with, are you look at sort of fighting pathology, right? You've got antibiotics, antiarrhythmics, antipsychotics. You're finding that pathology and you're trying to do something to combat that pathology. In contrast with functional medicine, what we're trying to do is enhance the natural healthy function of the human body. So looking at optimizing gut function, for example, looking at exercise, looking at nutrition, proper sleep. And so we're not so much combating disease, but we're trying to enhance health. And that's where the, the, the name, the word functional comes from. And so in terms of that focus, there's a lot of things diagnostically, for example, uh, diagnostic testing looking at, okay, well, how is your gut functioning right now? You know, uh, do you have some type of food sensitivity that's causing problems with your immune system? You know, looking at your immune system function. Is it overly reactive? Is it not reactive enough? Those sorts of things. Uh, looking at the mechanical aspects in terms of osteopathic manual treatment. And so as an osteopathic physician, I do a lot of hands-on therapy, as does uh, Dr. Gary and Dr. Lisa and our other practitioners. Integrating the acupuncture, of course. Uh, medications when necessary. Surgery when necessary. I mean, we're not surgeons ourselves, but we will certainly refer folks out for surgery when it's necessary. Uh, Bioidentical hormone therapy, where Dr. Lisa really has an expertise. Looking at the use of supplements, nutraceuticals, uh, homeopathic remedies, herbal medications, and so on. Chelation therapy for situations where there's uh, biotoxic effects from things like uh, uh, heavy metal exposure and so on. And the things that I'm going to be focusing on tonight, the use of diagnostic musculoskeletal ultrasound, which is distinctly different from ultrasound that you get with like physical therapy, that's therapeutic ultrasound. Diagnostic ultrasound is really the same technology, uh, for example, looking at uh, babies, you know, in terms of obstetrics, uh, except we use it for musculoskeletal purposes. And it is actually, as I'll be talking about a little bit more later, the test of choice for certain types of tendon and ligament injuries. And it actually has a, a resolution that's three times greater than that of MRI, for example. Uh, and then, of course, looking at our regenerative injection therapies. Okay, so a little bit, I, I'm gonna kind of skip through this stuff. I uh, actually didn't know that Dr. Gary was gonna give, you know, a nice introduction for me. And, uh, you know, he kind of touched on a lot of the uh, high points there. All right. so. Here we are, we've got this whole integrative approach, okay, so we're trying to deal with all these different, you know, it's like this big Venn diagram, right, of health and how we can maximize things. 
But in order to really do the best that we can, we do have to then kind of zero in on things and almost with a microscope kind of dissect out, okay, let's say somebody has a pain condition and they have some type of musculoskeletal or structural cause for that. Well, now we gotta zero in on that piece and figure out what's the best way of taking care of that. And one efficient way of looking at it is to look at this tissue-specific treatment approach. So looking at what kind of tissue is affected. And here I have a, a list of the, you know, most of the, the tissues that we think about. So going from kind of, you know, outside in almost, you've got your skin, nerves, discs like in the, in the spine, for example. Uh, you've got bony issues, muscle issues, connective tissue issues. Uh, I like the kind of flow of that wording there. Uh, Bursal issues in terms of, you know, a lot of people have heard of bursitis. Uh, and then you've got the joint, you've got the ligament, and you have the tendon. So I'm going to be focusing on these areas here because these are the areas where the regenerative therapies tend to have their best effect. But just keeping in mind that you can have pain as a result of disorders in many different tissues. And so you want to be able to have someone who can properly evaluate all those things and make sure that you're not missing something. You know, I mean, if there's a chance that you've got, you know, God forbid, a bony tumor, you got to make sure you don't miss that, you know even though that is quite rare. And so you have to have sort of a, a, a you don't want to have your blinders on, you have to have a very wide perspective in terms of evaluating uh, someone who's in pain.